I want to start by asking Anand Ranganathan why he thinks that the BJP should have actually stood up for uh, Nupur Sharma and for Naveen Kumar Jindal and why do you think they've done the wrong thing by taking action against their spokespersons? Uh, good evening Rahul and good evening to all my esteemed panelists. Uh, you know, <coughs> being, <coughs> excuse me, being tolerant is not a weakness. Bowing before the intolerant is. So there are two issues here, one philosophical, the other political, and let me delve into them one by one. First up, let us be very clear, this government has thrown its own Nupur Sharma to the wolves. The Islamists only asked it to bend and it chose to crawl and to be crawling in front of despotic regimes that don't value freedom, leave alone freedom of speech. Iran, that issued fatwa against Salman Rushdie, Qatar that has no freedom of speech or expression, that issued citizenship to M.F. Hussain, who drew naked and copulating Hindu goddesses. And inexplicably, no one, from the government to the rabble-rousing accusers, has explained why Nupur quoting what is derived from revered Islamic scriptures, Sahih Bukhari 5134 and Sunan Nasai 3378, constitute blasphemy. The least the government could do was to confront the jihadis by asking them to quote uh, the said verses. Instead, they claimed what Nupur said was derogatory. So the revered Hatibs are derogatory. Rahul, we have known this for ages. And not for nothing do I keep saying that we are a banana republic from the moment we became a republic. We have known that none of our governments stand up for free speech. Congress, BJP, TMC, CPR, you name it. They have stomped on it. Remember how Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, on the floor of our parliament, demanded an apology from Denmark for the Prophet cartoons. But what disgusts me here is the hypocrisy of these pretend liberals. This diabolical cult supported Salman Rushdie even though his satanic verses called the Prophet see the UH false. His companions bum, Allah a destroyer, Makkah a jahiliya. They stood with Charlie Hebdo journalists who did exponentially worse against the Prophet. But these so-called Voltaire worshippers won't stand with Nupur. Why? And as for moderate Muslims, I'm afraid if at all such a term exists, its myth has exploded now. Muslim journalists, activists, actors, intellectuals are openly dog whistling, calling for Nupur's arrest and worse. They are even retweeting Taliban's condemnation of her. Now to the second point, Rahul, uh, very quickly, politics. It is also a fact that every nation sacrifices freedom of expression of citizens, its own or of the nation it is investing in at the altar of business interests. Europe and America have mastered this hypocrisy. Their companies operate in despotic regimes after agreeing to civilly compromise on human rights and FOS. India also does it. I don't support it. But there is a case that we have to be wise and think it through till the time we can afford to not deal with dictatorships that provide us oil, minerals, jobs. There is a way out. I'll just 30 seconds. Let me explain. Right now, there are 60 nations out of 200 or that qualify as functioning democracies. Call them T60, if you will. What will force dictatorships to become democracies? What will force 140 nations to establish rule of law and freedom enjoyed by D60? Not being able to trade with D60. Yes, to trade exclusively with D60 might appear impossible now, but we must plan for it. Did we trade with apartheid South Africa for 40 years at that time one of the richest economies? No, even though America did. So, to cut a long story short, it is always a striving for balance between Galileo and GAP. Right now, we have discarded Galileo and opted for gas. But for how long? Only we. Let's have a Nakwi respond to that eloquent opening comment from Anand Ranganathan, who makes the argument that you've thrown Nupur to the wolves. Countries like Qatar and Saudi Arabia and Iran are hardly apostles of human rights. And given what's happening in those countries, the BJP ought not to have buckled under pressure, but should have stood up for its own. So, first of all, Rahul, I have not come here to have a face off with anyone. I was given the impression that we are analyzing what the consequences of the BJP's sacking of Nupur Sharma. I am not going to square off with anyone because this is the reason why we are standing at this impasse. These horrific TV debates where people are provoked to attack each other. And right now, in this country, we have a terrible situation in Kashmir where uh, people watch all this toxicity, this hatred against uh, uh, people being spewed on channels and you have something very worrying developing in Kerala. Having said that, in no civilized society should people sit there, especially in a multicultural, multi-plural country like ours, which was Qatar, these are all different, these are little uh, run by Amis and these are oil countries, Iran has its own particular history. 
Uh, are, are you trying, trying to say, say are, are you creating an equivalence between those countries and in India, India which, which is the great success story of the post-colonial world in, in terms, terms of democracy? India, India, India took, India, India had decided, decided that we are not, uh, uh, we, we are, are not, not Pakistan, we are, we are not Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Yet you, you have, have the same, uh, you, you have this constant, constant drama on television, which I am not part of. And I have come here thinking something else is happening. But the same thing about Muslim and Islam is the words are repeated day in and day out, even though you have the world, one of the world's largest Muslim populations living here. Whatever Nupur Sharma, what she did say, should have been stopped. I am not, uh, it, it's just. So crude, tasteless, but that, that, that tasteless kind of ranting at the top of your voice to make a good television. On, On the serious, serious note, our country is at a precarious point where we have something happening. How do you think people feel, feel when they watch all this? Your kind, kind of TV debates where people, people come and they abuse other people. people. Is, is that, that uh, and you really want, want to create parallel? And, and it's not about the other countries. It was before that. Let, Let me tell, tell you who all have raised, raised all these issues. issues. Before, Before that, the US giving uh, uh, the, the, the report from the West, which is coming out, about the conditions in India, two days before this happened. The BJP had at once noticed. What was the RSS she saying? saying? Don't, Don't look for shivling everywhere. And, and where is the insight to shivling in people mocking a search for shivling?